Okay, let's fly Dalatori's advanced ILS dust storm landing mission in the F-4 here. He's got A dust storm has closed all here. of the surrounding airports. Your best chance to land before running out of fuel is yeah. Tbilisi, which is Roger. an ILS system. One way or another, this jet must come down. You have to set up your instruments, or ask Chester for those, remembering to switch the radio and tack and control to the rear seat. Tbilisi Tacken is 25 X-ray. Instrument landing Going system idle. frequency is 110.30 megahertz. The active runway 30. is 13 right. Tower ATC, 127.00 megahertz. Good luck. Okay, outer ring does that one. 110.30, gotta get this volume up for the Morse code and the ILS uh, glide slope needles will not work without this volume off of zero. And here's the marker beacon volume. This light will illuminate at uh, the two mile or so marker beaker off of runway one three. Runway one three. So that little static I hear is the ILS system. I'm idle below 300 knots. Uh, I know he told me in the briefing I'm like 40 miles west of Tbilisi. Out of here somewhere. And what I want to do is, I don't want to fly direct to the TACAN 25 X-ray here at Tbilisi. I want to fly uh, out here somewhere 10, 15 miles and set up a nice stabilized approach so I can take my time getting on speed and fighting the wind, staying on the course director indicator on the BDHI and staying on the ILS needle. So I want to set up a nice stabilized approach quite far out. Uh, center external transfer needs to go off. We need to call up Tbilisi here. Cochina, in field. One, one. Inbound. Runway one three, two eight two niner. And they said fly 078 for like 26 miles, which is the distance from us to the Tbilisi TACAM. Get this set up here. Coming below 300 knots, 2829er. And switch this over to TACAM so we can get that light on and see that uh, Tbilisi TACAM is slightly right of our course here. That's okay. Because I want to get uh, north of the thing. I do not want to just fly direct to it and have to make a sharp turn at the last second and try and land in the soup. It's not possible. I'll get this set to tack in here and let's go ahead and navigate. Oh, we're going to dial this course into our final approach of 128. Very good, very good. Put the heading at 128. Climbing up above 300 knots here again, that's fine. Okay, I'm about to speed this thing up. Uh, right now I'm still flying to Tacan, to uh, Tbilisi Tacan. I want to fly north here. I'm going to put my seat all the way up. So I can hope to see the runway a little bit better. It's very, very hard when you're on speed. In fact, uh, I think I'm going to come in a bit hotter than on speed. So I have... Okay, so he said, remember to engage the flight director thing. So if I do this, then I'll get azimuth and glide slope steering for the ILS. I'm at 14,000 feet still. I am 14 miles. And I'm going to maintain this heading of like 075 right now. Pull the power, speed brakes. Oh, that line is moving in fast. I'm going to have to make my sharp turn here. Plenty high, way above the mountains. Diving down. Okay, okay. 12,000 feet. Speed's come down 350 knots. Just doing my instrument flying stuff here okay 10,000 feet descending at 11 miles um, if so I should be heading direct to the Tbilisi TACAN right now there's 290 knots I 
thousand feet. When I switch this little guy to Viora ILS, I'm going to get the actual ILS steering on my BDHI here. So I'm left, of course, coming down to 250 knots, and I'm going to intercept this line pretty quickly here because I'm only eight miles away. I'm above glide slope a little bit. I came right, of course, making gross corrections here, and I should be making finer corrections this close to the field here. 250 knots, gear, slats, flaps, landing light, nose trim up. Pretty good wind coming out of zero four zero or something like that around here. So I've noticed the ATC seems to call it out different than I notice it being. So it just keeps blowing me right, of course, no matter what I do. Cleared for visual, five miles, gears down. Look, Gina, flaps and slaps. One, one, request landing. Okay, gear, flaps, pressure, warning lights, anti-skid. Okay, Watch nose trim up. Lights up is good. Power coming up. Approaching on speed AOA here. One car the right. 1,000 feet AGL. Actually, like 600. Correcting right. On speed AOA, but I'm going to give it more power. Put the nose down. Correcting right. Stop correcting right there and let myself get blown back onto course. Okay, power, nose trim down so that I can just so I can see the runway. Okay, now I'm about to get blown right of course again by this crazy wind. So I'm just leaning into it left here. Inner marker beacon, two miles. Nose down. To the wind left here above glide slope that's okay it's this is not a day where i want to be below glide slope check landing gear 500 meters per see 143 at seven meters per second that saying that's coming from my right i don't believe it looking for runway lights 300 should be right of course looking for runway lights okay okay wow yes 100. Flare, rudder right. Wow, both definitely below minimums here. There it is. Shh. Differential braking. Yep, that's going to be a spine replacement. By I don't Dr. know about Pernia. that. I do not know about that, Jester. That was not so bad. Just be happy we're alive here. There's the parachute. Yeah, so it became a game of, uh, for me, putting the nose down, so getting below, or, uh, you know, getting faster than on-speed nice AOA. So normally you'd be out here, 19 units. I needed to be down here somewhere so that I could see anything. Uh, I think that was the trick here for landing below minimums. All right, pretty happy about that one. And uh, I'll put a download link for this set of missions that this uh, guy, Dalla, has uh, posted on the DCS website. Got a lot of good training missions and they're not just ILS, so good luck.